ocean of stars who first gazed up at it, dreamt that it held the key to humanity's future. How vast the universe must have seemed to them, unending and eternal, filled with infinite possibility. But if only those dreamers knew what I know now, that humankind harbors a voracious hunger, one not even the limitless cosmos can sate. All right. Good graphics, boys. Another 24 hours and we're off the clock. Gotta say, this has been one easy gig. Yes, I suppose it has. Would you care for more coffee, Ray? Sure. Don't get ahead of yourself, Ray. Uh, Captain. Seriously, something's up today. I can feel it. Your sixth sense again. I'll take your word for it. Human's intuition is a mystery to me. Hey. Danger tends to rear its ugly head when you least expect it. Maybe pirates are sneaking up on us as we speak. Oh, ha ha, laugh it up, you guys. <laughs> For real, though, you've got to relax. Look how quiet it is out there. Huh? See? This is what you get for ignoring me. Probably just some random asteroid field or something. Scanning craft. Verified. Pandora <coughs> Federation battleship, the Astoria. As in their latest and greatest. I heard it also has a Kenny on board. What's it doing so far outside of Fed space? Uh, I think they're aiming at us. Warning. Phase cannon fired. Distance 350,000 clicks. Take evasive action. Starboard thrusters to full power. There's no time. Everyone brace for impact. Shields holding at 78%. What? Why are Patch they doing Patch a signal this? proof. Tell them we're not hostile, damn it. No response. Second strike incoming. on screen. Find us a way out of here now. Find us a way, bro. No good. Cannons fired at our projected course. Make it stop! Shields down to 12%. Weapons activity detected. Readying third strike. Still no response from the Astoria. It seems they have no intention of letting us go. Ray, they've ceased fire. Your orders. Abandon ship. All crew members, get to an escape pod. Wait, we must consider the cargo. Is evacuating the correct course of action? These are feds we're dealing with here. If we don't clear out now, we're goddamn space dust. This job isn't worth our lives. Captain's orders, evacuate immediately. Send the tile. Don't worry. I'll be right behind you. I'll be fine. Yeah, boy. At least end. Yeah, boy. Come on. Open, you stupid. Power has been cut from this section of the ship. No matter how hard you try, you won't be able to open that door. Elena? The Astoria has fired on us. I'm sorry, but there's not enough time to save the cargo before impact. You have one minute. That's more than enough time. Now help! Yes, Captain. No! Hey! Stop! What do you think you're doing? Helena! Helena! The 
crew of the Edis needs you. Good luck, Ray. And goodbye. And goodbye. Yeah, boy, we need you, boy. Let's no! go. Computer. Number and location of all ejected pods. According to the latest records, nine of the 49 escape pods have been successfully jettisoned and are now untraceable. This ocean of stars. Who first gazed up at it? Dreamt that it held the key to humanity's future. must have seemed to them unending and eternal filled with infinite possibility setting course fourth planet of the Aster star system warp 2.1 estimated arrival five days an underdeveloped planet I can't take this <laughs> but humanity is insatiable it is that hunger come on boy breed that drives them, and they will not rest until they have claimed every last star in the sky. Escape vessel located within communication range. <gasps> That's gotta be Chloe. Open up a channel. Ray? Oh, thank goodness! Is Elena okay? It is you. Man, I'm glad to hear your voice. Elena, she... she's safe. So let's you and me worry about our own heights, huh? We're headed for an underdeveloped planet, Ray. Relax. People back home probably just got our mayday call. They're coming. So until they get here, just think of this as an adventure, okay? Entering orbit around the fourth planet in the Astro Star System. The divine voice. Let's do it, bro. Let's do it, man. If only those dreamers knew what I know now that you can only push the universe so far before it starts to push back. Yeah, boy. Arriving on Aster 4. Planetary surface found to be sufficient for all life forms aboard craft. Initiating emergency protocol. Distress signal activated. All right. Let's hope someone picks that up. Otherwise, we are SOL. Legs are freaking killing me. I could do with a stretch. Well, the pod's electronics seem to be working just fine. It is just for emergency escape, though, so useless now. Right. Computer, give me all known locations of. Unable to locate escape crafts. Jettisoned from the Edith. Of course. So then where's Chloe's pot? I saw her enter orbit. The vessel's descent was interrupted by an electromagnetic cannon. The onboard computer was likely damaged in the attack. Underdeveloped my ass. Computer, get an emergency signal through to my brother. Antonio Lawrence. 
and be quick about it. Attempting to contact Antonio Lawrence, captain of the merchant vessel Aldis. Oh shit. Going on, but not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. All right, let's rumble. Enemies up ahead. Do this to me. Flank it. Thanks for that. Don't know what I would have done if you... Silence. Who are you? <laughs> Sheesh. And if I tell you, you'll let me go, right? Let you go? After witnessing you exiting a foreign ship? <laughs> You're more fool than you look. Wait. Uh, you two know that's a ship? Let me guess. You're the assholes who shot us down, aren't you? Incoming. Long range subspace transmission from Antonio Lawrence. Huh? Raymond, it's me, Antonio. Can you hear me? Ray, come in! I knew you weren't alone. <laughs> Show yourself! Huh? Who in the hell are you? This isn't Raymond Lawrence! Step into the light! Hey, asshole, harm a single hair on my brother, and your planet scorched Earth, you hear me? Raymond, where are you? How is this possible? This voice? I see no one. Uh, big ask, I know, but mind if I answer him real quick? After that, I swear, I'm all yours. Very well. Princess! If he truly had armed fighters waiting, we would be slain several times over by now. Go on. Do not keep your comrade waiting, Sir Raymond Lawrence. Oh, why, thank you, milady. And uh, as for your butler or whatever, mind telling him to back it up? How dare you? As you wish. We shall give you the space you ask in good faith. In exchange, you will tell us who you are and the nature of your talking airship. Awesome. Okay. Sounds like we got a deal. Feds don't know, can't hurt them. Antonio? It's me, Raymond. Oh, Ray! Are you okay? Yeah, define okay. Had a run-in with the Federation, and it didn't end too well for the Yidus. What the hell? Emergency landing on some planet called Aster 4. Locals are real friendly. And listening right now. Are you shitting me? Chloe's down here somewhere, too. I lost track of her pod on entry. And big question mark on the rest. Look, you've got to get here, man. We need you. Sir Raymond, Antonio. Hey, that voice. That one of Aster's friendly locals. I can guarantee Raymond's safety while he is stranded in this land. On one condition. You answer my question. Are you aligned with the Vale Empire? The who? Yeah, uh, don't even know him. Vile dissembler! Albert! Your comrades, have you any idea of their whereabouts? Well, at the moment, not a clue. A girl named Chloe was riding one of these when she crashed way that away. And this ship, is it possible for anyone to pilot it? Yeah. I mean, that's kind of the point of it. That said, mine's run out of juice, so it's not going anywhere for the time being. So, if we provide it with more of this juice, theoretically, would we be able to pilot it? Huh. 
Aren't you a curious one? Huh? Can it be? Hey, speak of the devil. Madness. Oh, how magnificent. Computer, get me a read on that craft. Was it from the Yidis? Who's on it? Readings indicate the pod was also ejected from the Edis. No passenger signal detected. Is there a town or something in that direction? Um, not a town, no. Only the Medum ruins. Albert, you must see this. Uh, Highness. Thanks for the info. Oh, and, uh, gonna hang on to this for a while longer. Halt! Sorry, buddy, but no can do. Hold there. We will accompany you. The ruins can be a treacherous place. And two friendly locals could assist. Oh, for the love of... Ah, fair point. Thank you. You may call me Leticia. And this gentleman here is Albert. Stand down, Albert. We are here to help him. Is that clear? As you wish. Awesome. Hey, Antonio. We'll catch up later, all right? Wish us luck. Uh, roger that. Stay safe down there. Oh. <laughs> you guys. I'll explain the ins and outs of all this junk once I know my crew's safe. So, we got a deal? Yes, we do. Shall we then, Raymond? Uh, uh, wait. No more full name stuff. Just Ray is good. <laughs> All right. Uh, Ray? Awesome. Okay, let's move. We are approaching the Madoom ruins. If we follow the pillars to the west, it should come into view. Can you tell us? Continue along this path. Everyone all right? <laughs> Been a while since I've swung a sword around, but I guess I still got it. I'm on business. This could be tomorrow. So the forest is full of monsters at night, huh? Guess I'm lucky to have met some people out here. I think they are a little eccentric. About time for a rest. Those stairs, they lead to the entrance of the ruins. Got it, let's go. These stairs look a little dangerous. Even if we did try to climb them, they'd probably give way. We should go around. The west side looks scalable, does it not? Red 
prep for engagement. Steady, everyone. Up ahead. Gotcha. Well aware. Might as well. Well, that's over with. Hello. Hello, well, how is it? He's dead on, I got him some potatoes and red sauce there and stuff. Did he eat them out? Aye, he's well, he ate some of them, I I got that got that medicine out of him, I'm just playing Star Force here. He's playing a bit of he's watching the YouTube video we done last time we're gonna play some um what do you call it? Fortnite? Oh, okay. did you get that team team one? Yes. Alright, what's one you put on him? The brown bottle. Uh, I stand. Uh, I don't know when I'll be home. I'll try and get as much as I can done here today, and then I'll keep you posted. Alright, that's alright. Alright. Alright, love you, bye. What's the last video? Ruby's on her phone and stuff. Mm, alright. If we're not downstairs, we'll be upstairs watching Transformers, right? Yeah, I'll just keep the food down. If you're upstairs, then if I can get in, I'll put the key out. What do you say? Well, that's alright, I was going to open, so I get in. Oh, the door will be open. I'll come here upstairs, don't lock the door. Alright, that's okay. Alright. Alright, love you, bye. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. We 
cannot reach the Madoon ruins this way. We must go back and find another way. your step there is not to head but a sheer cliff yikes the madoom ruins are across the other side let us proceed with caution Enemies up ahead. I'm well aware. Yeah. See that?
good bunny. Stay sharp.
Enemies up ahead. Enemies, dead ahead. I see them.
Prep for engagement. Switch to the newest Google Pixel devices. The 7 a that stays fresh with feature drops plus water and dust protection. The phone Fox is a screen that still easily fits in your pocket, and there's so much more than a tablet tablet. The great speaker and its own charging dock. Pixel 7a fold and tablet. Switch to Pixel, engineered by Google.
approaching the Medum ruins. If we follow the pillars to the west, it should come into view. Can you tell our direction by reading the stars? Nah, don't worry. Follow the pillars. Enemies up ahead. Copy that. Visibility is poor in such darkness. Pray, mind your footing. I'm good. So long as whatever we just saw doesn't show its ugly face. You two have some killer moves. Pretty used to fighting monsters, too, by the look of it. Is that how it is for everyone that lives here? Yes. Well, more or less. Uh, whoa. Anyway. So, this is Medum, huh? It's friggin' massive. Ancient and powerful Assyrian semiomancers once called these hallowed halls home. As written in the old text. Okay, we can get all of that, but I'll save the QA for later. For now, let's focus on getting in and getting out. I can see why they're called ruins. It doesn't even look like we can get through. Has it been since this place was in the visitors? The reversal here will undoubtedly be treacherous. Good thing I've got you two here to show me the way. Though we are familiar with the area, this is our first time actually being here. Tread carefully. I'm no expert on the regional history, but folks here don't seem too friendly. Before the kingdom became as we know it now, this was the heart of civilization in the western part of the continent. It is said that much of the culture and knowledge that served as the foundation of our kingdom was created in this very place. So the riffraff left behind by the changing times wind up here, but to fend for themselves, huh? <laughs> The 
Enemies up ahead. Down. Passenger signal identified. Device is probably just busted. That's what I'm gonna tell myself. Finally made it to the ruins. Now let's head inside. Please, please, please be okay. You gotta be kidding me. What is it? Elena... Why? Ray... Why'd I have to play the hero? Why couldn't I just get in the damn escape pod? Captain, I am. Uh, Ray! Duma production model 004213 <coughs> activating. Confirmed. Life forms in need of protection. Whoa, hey, what the heck's this supposed to be? Warning, warning. Hostile entities identified. Engaging defensive mode. Highness, are you all right? I believe so, but what, yeah, what is this? Later. Right now, we, we've got company.
For real? The hell is this? I thought it was yours. More like in my care than actually mine. Hey, uh, Duma, was it? So, uh, what's your deal? Oh, so now you decide to give us the silent treatment. Why, it is just marvelous. Tell me, is this some new form of semiomancy? There's that word again. What, is it like your version of symbology or something? Symbology? Uh, never mind. Uh, anyway, thanks you two. I really appreciate it. Oh, and while I'm at it, here. And what will you do once we part? Well, try and figure out where my friends are, for one. Uh, these lands are vast. What will you do for lodging, for food, for survival? What if your companions are across the sea? Would you swim? To that end, Ray, I have a proposition for you. Assist us in our journey, and we shall assist you in yours. Are you sure that's smart? Only thing you know about me is my name. And we ought rectify that at once. For learning more about the other is sure to benefit us both. Highness? Albert, should Raymond agree, he will be in our care. Whatever comes of this, I shall bear the consequences. Allow me to properly introduce myself. I am Leticia Asarius, Crown Princess of Asarius. And this is Albert Bergholm. My royal retainer. Oh, shoot. I thought he was kidding when he called you Highness. Oh, you think us liars? Uh, put yourself in my shoes. Doubt you'd be saying anything differently. <laughs> Indeed. Not over far from these ruins is the village of Larset. There, we shall find a quiet moment to talk. I, uh, might have to hold on to this for a while. Please do. Consider it a symbol of the trust we have placed in you. Uh, morning already? Well, this is a fine mess we found ourselves in. Think of this as something new. This Larset place. Anywhere near here? We should be able to reach it by evening if we leave immediately. Uh, you do realize we're running on no sleep, don't you? If I may, I think I know how to make the trip a deal safer. We employ Duma. Its powers of levitation should let us skirt any dangers. That true? Oh, we forget they are a bashful sort. How inconsiderate of us. The 
route and scenery are different on the return trip. Are you certain we are going in the correct direction? There is no need for concern. This is the way, I assure you. There's nothing but dilapidated ruins as landmarks. Even the most seasoned adventurers might get lost. We must pass through this building, no? Indeed. The interior may be complicated. So take care not to lose your way. The exit is on the southern side of the ruins. <laughs> I bet Duma could probably just zip around a building like this. Initiate emergency protocol. Warning. Energy levels low. southbound through this forest in order to reach Larset village, must we not? Yes. If we continue southeast from here, we should be near the place where we first met. Ah, that's so. Well, if it's on the way, mind if we stop by my pod for a sec? Of course. Let us be off then. Jump on him! through the forest to reach Larset village. 
time offers us no respite. I know. I'll be quick about it. Everyone all right? Threat detected ahead. Energy levels uh, low. Should be just a little ways more to the east. Let me call my brother real quick before we head out. Antonio, do you read me? Ray, loud and clear. Was anyone in the pod? Nope, just freight. It was one of the pods Elena ejected right before the Edis went down. Wait, she did the ejecting? Then... Look, I don't want to hear it, okay? As the ship's captain, I have to assume everyone on the crew's safe until accounted for, right? Yeah. Uh, for now, I'm gonna look for Chloe. And I'm gonna do it with the two from yesterday. Think you can trust them? Does it matter? I need them. Basically. But even if I didn't, this they're reasonable girl. people. Plus, they Where? saved my life. That's enough for me. All right. I'm gonna try to get to you as fast as I can. Tell Dad not to lose any hair over it, will you? Too late. He already has over the fact that you called me for help, and not him. <laughs> Parents, man. <laughs> hey, Ray. Before you go, let me talk with your two traveling companions. Hey, uh, uh my bro says he wants to talk with you guys. Uh, uh hello? Yes? Uh, 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 yesterday, I was pretty upset and said some pretty rude things to you. Apologies for not doing this face to face. I'd like to make a fresh start. My name is Antonio Lawrence, Raymond's older brother. Uh, Sir Antonio, my name is Leticia Osarius. And with me is... Uh, um, Albert Bergholm, sir. Miss Osiris, Mr. Bergholm. I'm sure Raymond here comes off as a strange and weird man. But please, look after my little brother for me. The Lawrence family comes from a long line of well-known merchants. We always pay our debts. Nothing to fear, sir. We shall do our utmost to ensure the safety of your brother. I appreciate it. Ray, try not to be too much of an annoyance to your new friends. Good luck. Over and out. You are loved. I wish, but nah, you just can't help treating me like a kid. I don't know about you, but I can't wait to sleep in a bed. Let's get going. Agreed. Let us depart. Come on. Let's make our way to that village. Right. Uh, Larset Village is to the south. If we continue on our southward course, we should depart the forest. We 
are now entering the Larkus region. Come, let us continue to the south. Right, let's go. Much easier about all the trees, too. <laughs> Agreed. This is the ideal terrain for walking. Destroy. Warning. Energy levels look like neutralized. Enemies up ahead. Insufficient out. Destroy. Danger. Your Highness, the village of La Set lies to our west. West, indeed. Oh boy, can't wait to kick my feet up. Oh, and take a hot bath. <sighs> I second the latter. Come, let us be about it. Our set village is not far now. Or set village. Whew. Made it at last. You must be exhausted. Don't you think we should hide that thing? Kind of makes us stand out. We have arrived. That's the kind of meal that makes you glad to be alive. All right, so, where do you want to begin? First, would you mind telling us whence you hail? If you thought I said some weird stuff before, brace yourself. I'm from another world, one that's far, far away in the sky. Another world, you say? Far away... In the it's sky. Far, far away in the sky. You know, like how you can cross a mountain to get to another village, or the ocean to get to another continent. If you fly high enough, you can cross the sky and reach other worlds. Like the stars? Uh, which star do you call home? Whoa, no. One, it's a planet, not a star. Two, you can't see it from here. I've never heard something so asinine. Well, that's because people on planets like yours don't usually learn this for a couple hundred more years. Anyway, my job is to transport cargo between planets. And we now know, Duma was my cargo. My vessel, the Yidis, was attacked by another planet's battleship. And I was forced to flee here. Right now, I'm looking for a crew member, Chloe. Gotta be traipsing about here somewhere. Oddly lackadaisical way of describing being lost in an unknown land. She's got a good head on her shoulders. And she's great with languages. Well, roughing it a little won't bother her. And now, I'd like you to answer something for me. What's a princess doing sneaking around outside her castle? With only one bodyguard in tow. Because I too am looking for someone. Per my intelligence, at one point, he was seen entering the Madoom Ruins. Therefore, I have a proposition. In return for helping in your search for Chloe, I would like you to assist us in ours. Sure, but, uh, I don't know how much help I'll be. I'm not even from here. 
The person we seek is hardly congenial, but he is inquisitive. Your presence will be more persuasive than any argument we can make. Sounds like I got my work cut out for me. Perhaps some further information would help. His name is Midas Felgreed. He was a former Meister, one of the three most accomplished Semiomancers in all of Asarius. really want to run around looking for a semiomancer. At the same time, I don't know anything about this planet, so I'm not gonna find Chloe on my own. What do you think? Yeah, finally get to a bed and I can't even sleep. Maybe a walk will tire me out. Something wrong? Trouble sleeping? Yeah, yeah, a little. I've been taking walks till I get tired. My apologies. I should not be burdening you with our troubles. Hey, I'm the one who said we should join up. I would have never been able to take care of food and lodging by myself. So don't be shy. Let me help you too. <laughs> well, if you insist on it then. Had <laughs> a girl. We don't need more than one negative Nelly around, and Albert's got us covered there. I am the reason he remains so troubled. Please try not to think ill of him. No, no, no. I know. I know. I guess he's, uh, been through a lot, right? All those worries had turned anyone's smile upside down. Do you feel no need to inquire to fill in said details? Where we are is within the kingdom. And Albert's always wary of the Empire. The princess of said kingdom is sneaking around looking for a banished wise man. I can imagine said details. There's bound to be bumps in the road ahead. Let's at least enjoy the quiet while we can, princess. Might I, then, ask something of you? Sure, name it. Could you refrain from calling me by my royal title and use only my name? I gotta think that's gonna make Albert a little mad. Yes, well, we are undercover, and this would make things enjoyable for me. Do you agree, Ray? Yep, gotcha. Excellent. Now, with that off my chest, I do believe I shall return and rest. You would do well to do the same. You got it. Good night, Leticia. Yes. Have a good night, Ray. Alrighty, let's head back to the inn. Oh, and hey, do you think I could keep using this weapon? Of course. Consider it yours. There is also a merchant within the village. Shall we take a look tomorrow? Sounds good. Gotta be ready for anything around here. Alright, I think I'm finally getting tired. Guess I will head back. Anyone home? It's been a while since I got a good night's rest. Before we head out, I just wanted to thank you again. So, thanks, Leticia, Albert. Good morning to you too, Ray. So, uh, where exactly are we headed? I kind of forgot. The mining town of Delwick, which lies far to the south. Once we reach it, we can take stock of our situation. Oh, right, right, sorry. This is the first time I've had a good night's sleep in a while. I'm still not quite with it yet. Then you'll have yourself to blame if you are attacked.
Target sighted. <laughs> 